I said there is so much effort and struggle to design and shape uh, human mind when we are out of work. Is there any way you know, sir, to design human mind when we are inside work? That's my question. At home? Is that what you asked? Inside home. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Who is pregnant? If you do not know this, maybe in northern part of the country it's largely almost gone totally. In south it's still little alive in the villages, but there also it's wiped out quite a bit. If you do not know this, from preconception to conception to various stages of pregnancy and delivery and as long as the mother is feeding the child, there is an entire established process in this country as to how a woman should eat, what she should do, what kind of people she should interact with, what kind of form she should look at, what kind of form she should not look at, what kind of sound she should hear, what kind of sound she should not hear. All this was very much there. But we must also understand life has changed. Today women are going to work, they have to get into that horrible bus, where they're pushed around, it doesn't matter, she's pregnant. And all kinds of things, all kinds of fumes, all kinds of sounds, all kinds of noises, all kinds of abuse, every kind of thing happening to her. In some way, we're doing that to the child also. There is no job in the country or in the world where you can take off for one and a half years and get back to the job to fulfill this. For various reasons, we are not taking the business of manufacturing the next generation of people with sufficient care. We are not paying enough attention to it, for which we will pay a price. Over a period of time, we will pay an immense price for that. But we are definitely not taking enough care about it in the entire world, not just in this country. Because we've got all kinds of social situations which does not allow that space for a woman to dedicate that kind of time and attention. See, being pregnant is not just about reproduction. We're literally manufacturing the next generation of people, isn't it? Is it not important of all the products that you produce on this planet, is it not most important that we produce wonderful human beings for the future generation? Is it not the most important thing? But we have created a social situation and an economic situation where there is no such possibility to take care of these things, to whatever extent individual women or individual families can take care of it, they can take care of it, but for the larger society it's out of question because things have changed, you can't turn it back just like that. <laughs> the intelligence of the body is such, if you already do not know this, if a woman delivers a male child, the quality of the milk that she produces is in a certain way. If she delivers a female child, the quality of the milk is totally different. If she delivers a twin… if she delivers twins, one male and one female, one breast will ooze certain type of milk, another breast will ooze another kind of milk. This is the level of intelligence invested in this body. We have to treat it with that much care. This is not some crude machinery. This is the finest piece of technology on the planet, isn't it? Yes or no? This is the finest thing. In the ev entire evolutionary scale, these millions of years of work that nature did to produce this, but in our desperation for economic well-being, I think we are not paying the kind of attention that this needs, the kind of care that this needs so that this can function at the highest level and can also produce human beings for the future who are of a certain kind. So how to develop the brain when they're in the womb? It's very important that the atmosphere in which the child is growing up is kept in a certain way, at least amount of disturbance with right kind of reverberations, right kind of sounds, right kind of food, everything. Today they're barely nourished, the pregnant woman in most part of the country, they're barely nourished, where is the question of right kind of vibrations, right kind of atmospheres? One thing we can do for this is, every home, 
if possible every working place, we can have a consecrated space. Today slowly they are coming up with instruments which can measure the reverberations of certain objects. We can create conse consecrated spaces or we can create consecrated objects which at least at that time she can carry upon her body so that kind of to some extent, it's not the best solution, to some extent it neutralizes the outside impact to whatever extent possible. Or if she lives in a home, the place where she sleeps and other things are taken care of, some amount of respite can be there for that new life which is blossoming within the womb. <laughs>